Hello students, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve this problem. So in this problem we are asked to find the differential equations and then the transfer function. So this diagram consists of two masses namely M1 and M2. And here this F of T is the applied force which is directly on mass M2. So because of this force, the respective displacement by mass M2 is X and by mass M1 is X1. So to find the transfer function, the transfer function is nothing but Laplace transform of output to the Laplace transform of input. So from this diagram, F of T is the input and the respective displacement is the output. So input is equal to F of T and output is equal to X. When you take Laplace transform of input, that is Laplace transform of f of t becomes f of s and Laplace transform of output is Laplace transform of the x that is nothing but x of s. Right. Now we are going to draw the free body diagram of masses m1 and m2. So just here this is the free body diagram of m1. So, this is the diagram of M1 which is given in the problem. So, to draw the free body diagram first, count the number of elements which are attached to this mass M1. So, here this consists of 1, 2, 3 and above from that, here this there will be a dashboard B1. So, totally 1, 2, 3, 4 elements are connected to mass M1. So, just I am drawing in the free body diagram. So, Four suffered by F that is K1 is FK1, B1 is FB1, B is FB and K is FK. Right. Apart from these elements, the mass M1 will also provide some opposing force. So, here I am writing FM12. Right. So, now I am going to write the expression for each and every term here. So, when we write f m1 is nothing but this is directly proportional to the displacement that is d square x1 by dt square. Here the displacement of mass m1 is x1. So when I include proportionality constant this becomes f1 is nothing but m1 into d square x1 by dt square. Next one consider k1. So here so f k1 is directly proportional to x1. So when we add proportionality constant this becomes k1 into x1 and the next one is fb1 so again fb1 is directly proportional to dx1 by dt so when we add proportionality constant this becomes b1 into tx1 by dt and the next one is fb so here listen carefully this element b is connected between masses m1 and m2 so when you consider this force produced by this b it can be written as FB is directly proportional to since this is connected between M1 and M2 and now we are drawing the free body diagram of mass M1. So the respective displacement that is we should return it as X1 minus X. Since we are considering M1 the displacement produced due to M1 should come first. So here I am writing it as X1 minus X. So when we introduce a proportionality constant sorry d by dt of x1 minus x when you introduce proportionality constant this becomes b into d by dt of x1 minus x similarly k so here since k is connected between two elements so the displacement is nothing but x1 minus x so force suffered is directly proportional to x1 minus x so we include proportionality constant this becomes k into x1 minus x right now I am going to apply Newton's second law. So by Newton's second law that is F is equal to Ma. That's it. So here I am just summing up the forces Fm1, Fk1, Fb1, Fb plus Fk. This is equal to here there is no opposing force. Right. That is, there is no applied force directly to the mass M1. So, here the applied force is 0 and these are all the opposing forces. So, just substitute the values here. So, you will be getting F y M1 is nothing but M1 into d square x1 by dt square. And again, K1 
k1x1 and here b1 into dx1 by dt plus b into d by dt of x1 minus x and finally k into x1 minus x and this is made equal to 0. Now I am applying Laplace transformation. So when we apply Laplace transformation this becomes m1 into s square of x1 of s plus k1 into x1 of s plus b1 into s into x1 of s plus here b into s into x1 of s minus x of s plus k into x1 of s minus x of s which is equal to 0. So just multiply the terms inside. So you will be getting m1 into s square x1 of s plus k1 into x1 of s plus b1 s into x1 of s plus bs into x1 of s minus bs into x of s plus k into x1 of s minus k into x of s which is made equal to 0. So just now I am taking out the common terms that is here x1 of s, x1 of s, x1 of s, x1 of s and x1 of s. Now I am going to take this x1 of s commonly outside. So when you take x1 of s the remaining terms will be m1 s square plus k1 plus b1 into s plus bs plus k right so these are all the left out terms so when you take minus x of s outside so this becomes bs plus k which is equal to 0 so here in this case we can write x1 of s that is m1 s square plus b1 plus b when you take s outside and plus x which is equal to so this minus term will become positive when we move to this side so this becomes x of s into b s plus k so here we have to rearrange accordingly so i am writing it as x1 of s can be written as x of s into b s plus k divided by m1 s square plus b1 plus b of s plus k let this be your equation number 1. Right. Now we are going to draw the free body diagram of mass M2. And here that is look at this diagram. And now count the number of elements which are connected to mass M2. So to this mass M2 we are having 1, 2, 3. Right. Wait. Yeah, here I have missed B2. Okay. So, just count the number of elements. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Right. Apart from these 4 forces, there will be an opposing force which is produced by this mass M2. So, here in this case, just, just write down the elements Fm2 that is opposing force produced by M2. Similarly, B2, B, K. Right. And here this F of T is the applied force. So, note carefully your that is the opposing force will be always opposite in the direction to that of your applied force. Right. Now we are, we are going to write down the expression. So when you write the expression with this becomes Fm2 is directly proportional to here the respective displacement is x. So d square x by dt square. So when you insert the proportionality constant this becomes m2 into d square x by dt square. Now the next force is Fb2. So again Fb2 is directly proportional to dx by dt. So when you insert proportionality constant this becomes B2 into dx by dt. And the next one is Fb. Now again listen here this B is connected between M2 and M1. But now we are considering only the mass M2 and the respective displacement is x here. So Fb is directly proportional to d by dt of x minus x1. So when you insert proportionality constant this becomes b into d by dt of x minus x1. And finally we are having an another force fk. When you write for it fk is directly proportional to again this is connected between masses b2 and b1. As we are considering mass m2 so we have to write it as x minus of x1. So when you insert proportionality constant this becomes k into x minus x1. Again by Newton's second law here 
here the opposing forces that is the opposing forces will be equal to applied force so just write down the opposing forces it is nothing but fm2 fb2 plus fb plus fk and here the applied force is nothing but f of t so just substitute the values we will be getting m2 into d square x by dt square plus b2 into dx by dt plus b into d by dt of x minus x1 plus k into x minus x1 and that is equal to f of sorry f of t just apply laplace transformation when you apply laplace transformation this expression will become m2 into s square x of s plus b2 into s into x of s plus b into s into x of s minus x1 of s plus k into x of s minus x1 of s which is equal to this becomes that is equal to f of s again just rearranging just multiply and rearrange so m2 into s square x of s plus b2 into s into x of s plus b s into x of s minus b s into x1 of s plus k into x of s minus k into x1 of s and that is equal to f of s so just here again we are having x of s x of s x of s and x of s so i am taking the x of s term commonly outside so the remaining terms will be m2 s square plus b2 s plus b s plus k right again when you take minus x1 of s commonly outside the remaining terms will be b s plus k and that is equal to f of s so here in this case just look carefully what what is the respective thing we need here that is laplace transformation of transfer function is laplace transform output by input here the output is x of s and here the input is f of s right we need x of s by f of s so here in this expression we are having x of s x1 of s and f of s so just replace this x1 of s from this expression 1 okay just substitute the value of x1 of s here so we will be getting x of s into m2 s square plus b2 plus b of s plus k minus here this x1 of s can be replaced with this expression so we will be getting x of s into b s plus k into b s plus k divided by m1 into s square plus b1 plus b of s plus k okay this is nothing but this is equal to your f of s so just take lcm here just look carefully x1 of s into b s plus k so this b s plus k is written here and again this x y x1 of s expression again consists of an another b s plus k so here i have written b s plus k into b s plus k okay don't get confused so just take lcm so when you take lcm this expression becomes m2 s square plus b2 plus b s plus k okay just multiply we will be getting m1 s square plus b1 plus b of s plus k right minus of this expression so x of s into we can write it as b s plus k the whole square as we have two terms so that is equal to your f of s okay so here the final so this again this entire expression as we take lcm will be divided by m1 s square plus b1 plus b s plus k so what we need is x of s by that is x of s by f of s right so here from this expression take this x of s commonly outside this will be little bit bigger just give me some one minute to write
and this expression is equal to our f of s right what we need we need x of s by f of s right so here we are having x of s and here f of s just bring this f of s to this side this comes in denominator part so this expression when we move to this side it comes as reciprocal so m1 s square plus b1 plus b s plus k the entire term divided by m2 s square plus b1 plus b of s plus k multiplied by m1 s square plus b1 plus b of s plus k minus b s plus k the whole square okay this is the final expression and our problem get completed right thank you